This is the second step in our van build series, insulation. From an equipment standpoint, the insulation part of the van build has been super easy. Um, we used three blocks of the one inch um, foam block, so three sheets of that. We used power grip, more Loctite power grip, to get the block to adhere to the van sides. Um, we cut all the block with just a utility knife. We went through quite a few blades though, so we bought a big pack of blades. Um, we also needed a tape measure and the foam, uh, expanding foam cans, and we used a little bit of nylon tubing to extend the reach of the foam straw. So cutting of the foam is really, really easy. It's pretty much all you need is a sharp utility knife blade. And I cut it in a couple passes, because otherwise it tends to chip. and it's just break and score. Some of the sheets of foam have a pre-made score mark that they'll break on. One of the other things we did to, to um, get the foam to fit tightly around the ribs in the vein was we had to cut away the corner. Some of that, and I'll show you how I did that. Again, I'm making multiple passes for a smoother cut, and then just kind of eyeball it here. So the rib and the van will sit in here, and then the foam will sit flush try to use spray foam as an adhesive. Uh, newsflash. It's not. It's not an adhesive. <laughs> so um, if you check out the time lapse at the very end of this video, you will see a couple of attempts of us trying to do that and it just falling down. Um, so use adhesive, because that works much better. Because it's an adhesive. Because it's an adhesive. So this is a piece that I shoved up in there. And marked how far deep it goes in. Yep. So it goes three inches in the back, one inch in the back. Oh, so you did it on the side and in the back. Yep. Cool. And then I measured this rough opening. With not the, including. Not including this. Gotcha. Because this is narrower and will go in farther. Oh. I got to put a whole bunch of spray foam in these pockets before I put the board in. Take a lock it in place so when you're driving down the road, it doesn't go. For your viewing pleasure, I have redacted the terrible noise this makes. Right now, we're going to glue in the foam pieces I pre cut earlier into the roof. And I've pre cut a section for each one of these ribs in the van. Now, on these pieces, I've, I made a notch to clear this adhesive uh, foam and this. Um, flange pit right, piece right here. I also cut a piece in the corner here so this piece of foam can slide into this hole here. This hole is pretty deep and I don't want to fill the entire portion full of spray foam. We had an incident, <laughs> so now I'm fully decked out in PPE. <laughs> PPE. <laughs> By the way, for anyone out there, um, steel hotel room shower caps—they are perfect for this kind of thing. That's where that beautiful one came from. <laughs> it's a floral pattern. Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's get this over with.
So I finished filling all the ribs with foam, all the pockets. And one of the last steps I needed to do before installing the paneling was to remove the, success of the excess foam. And to do that, I made this prison shank looking thing out of an old Sawzall blade that I bent and put a little tape on. So one of the things that helped out when foaming some of the nooks and crannies and some of the gaps in the van was cutting the straw in half and pushing on a piece of quarter inch nylon tubing, which allowed me to hold the can upside down and be able to do the roof and stick it inside the wall cavities and foam all those. <laughs> 